A bill proposed today in Frankfurt would build a $22 million 16-bed facility in Kentucky to treat youths held by the State Department of Juvenile Justice. ABC 36's Anna Medina is in studio now to explain how Senate Bill 242 would update some of the juvenile justice reforms the legislature passed last winter. Anna? The bill proposes different types of treatment options. Those would include an inpatient psychiatric hospital, a pediatric teaching hospital, or the proposed inpatient acute mental health DJJ facility. Senate Bill 242 follows last year's Senate Bill 162's requirement for DJJ to reinstate regional model of juvenile detention facilities. It will also provide the construction of two female-only detention facilities, one in eastern Kentucky and one in western Kentucky. Each of those facilities would ensure the separation of violent offenders from nonviolent offenders. Part of this bill and part of a budget proposal that we uh, have submitted is to build a DJJ high acuity mental health detention center. This would be a 16 bed facility. It would be staffed security wise by DJJ. It would belong to DJJ, but this would be a partnership with the Cabinet of Health and Family Services who would provide the, the mental health treatment. It's gonna take 18 plus months to build this facility. We have time to do that in, in upcoming sessions, but this will get the, the ground laid for that. And so understand when we talk about the G DJJ detention, ultimately that's the type of facility or the facility that we're talking about. And we hope that this will be located at, at Central State Hospital on those grounds. Another part of the bill sets procedures and requirements when dealing with the child facing a public offense or requiring inpatient psychiatric treatment. With the bill, children in the custody of DJJ or CHFS who are facing a public offense or under a court order for inpatient psychiatric treatment would undergo a behavioral assessment by a clinical professional to determine whether that ch child qualifies as high acuity youth. Now coming up tonight at 11, how the Secretary of Public and Safety Cabinet says they plan to move forward. In studio, Anna Medina, ABC 36 News.